What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you my new ducks. Well, I mean, they're kinda new. They're about like two weeks old, and in two weeks, they've grown like really fast. So I'll show you those real quick. I have a yellow one, and then a little like brownish, blackish one with yellow on it. These, these ducks were about the size as one of those chickens right there. You can see how big they are now. So you can see I have a yellow one right here that's bigger than this little brown one right here, brown and yellow one. And they were about the size as these chickens right here. And these chickens have grown a lot too. They used to be yellow, but now they're white because they've gotten older. But yeah, these chickens have grown a lot, but you can tell the difference between these chickens and these ducks. So I'm pretty sure the yellow one right here is a, uh, uh, like a, a Pekin duck or a Pekin duck, something like that. And I'm pretty sure this one right here is a, I don't know how to say it really, but it's, I think it's like a Kwaki duck or something, Campbell, a Kwaki Campbell or something like that. But yeah, so they're, they're pretty ducks and you can see they have these, these webbed feet right here. But yeah, they're pretty cute and all that. I'm gonna fill their water thing up real quick. So I'm just gonna take it and put it right back in here. So I'm going to show you a video of when I first got them, if I have one. I'm not sure if I do. I may just have like a picture or something. But I'm going to show you a video of when I first had them, and then I'm going to show you what they look like now. So you can see how much bigger these ducks have gotten. They've gotten a lot, lot bigger, especially this yellow one. The brown one, I mean, he's gotten bigger, but not as much as this yellow one has gotten. This yellow one has gotten really, really big. And when this yellow one gets older, he'll be uh, he'll be white. And this brown one right here, I'm assuming if he is the breed, I think he is. He'll be like he have like a green head, and then he'll have like uh the same body, like a a brown body. Those ducks are growing pretty fast, so I'm gonna feed the fish now, and I'll show you the new tank I set up for them. All right, guys. So this is the tank I have set up. What I have in here is a. Uh, Two of these right, these little brim right here. I know you can't see them, but oh. hold up. I know he went back up and now he's hiding now, but I have two like brim in here. They're kind of, they're, so they're kind of like brim. I don't know, some people call them different. You call them bluegill, whatever, but they're more colorful than brim. They're like sun perch or something like that. So, but they're, they're hiding right now. I want to see if I can find them and show you. So you can see that one right in there. I know you can't see him good, but you might. You can see his head right there. Um. So yeah, that's what I have in there. They're probably they're probably about that big, maybe. And I put some minnows that were like that small in there so they could eat them. So that's what I'm feeding them. And here he is, right there. So you can see they're pretty colorful right around their gills. What I also feel to feed them is like some breadcrumbs. So I'm gonna get some like a hot dog bun or something like that and then feed them. So I just got this little piece of uh, a hot dog bun and they're probably not gonna eat right now because I don't know, they're just not used to it and they don't know what it is. But after a while, they'll start eating it and eating it every time. Cause I, one time I had some brim that that were about that size in that tank over there. And after a while they started eating the, the bread and it was cool to watch. But I'm gonna put it in there anyways, just Maybe they'll eat it, I don't know. So I got this like tiny piece of bread and I'm just gonna drop it in. And you can see it's sinking right there. I'm just gonna take a few more pieces and drop it down in there. And maybe they'll eat it when I'm gone, I don't know. I do have some fish that I can show you that will eat. There's some little glowfish from the from the pet store, so I'm gonna feed those and show you them eating. All right, guys, so I have this five-gallon glowfish tank, and I put some feed in here, and they're eating.
pretty good. You can see them like coming up to the top of the water and eating it. So I'm just gonna give Bo, my dog, a, a little dog treat right here. I'm just gonna tell him to sit and see if he sits. And if he sits, I'll give him it. I'll give it to him anyways, but I'm pretty sure he'll sit. Bo, come here. Bo, come here. Come here. Sit. Good job. Good job. Eat it. Good job. Good job, Bo. All right, Bo, stay. Stay. No, no, sit. Yeah, we gotta work with him a little bit because we wanna take him dove hunting and stuff, but he needs to learn like to sit and stay and fetch and all that kind of stuff. So I need to work with him and, you know, get trained pretty good. All right, Bo, stay, stay. Come on, sit. Good job, good job, Bo. So yeah, Bo knows to sit and stay pretty good, but I need to teach him to fetch and stuff. So a few weeks ago, a frost came through and it uh, killed all the leaves on the fig tree. So I don't know if it's gonna have any figs this year, which is kind of sad, but, cause I do like figs to make jelly and all that with. And this is a big tree. We have one right here. And you can see there's some still, some more leaves at the top right there, but I don't know if it's gonna produce any figs. Cause all these are just withered. The tree's not dead, but a frost came through and killed all the leaves in this tree and this tree. But our, our uh, uh, what do you call it? Our peach tree is still fine. It, it made it right through. The leaves on this peach tree came right after the frost. So you can see the leaves on this tree are doing pretty good. And then we actually got some blooms coming in on the peach tree. I have a few trees right here that I planted that the leaves on this died in the frost and this one, they kind of withered. I think they'll come back. But this right here is a, uh, is a sycamore. And then this right here is, it's a willow oak. And this right here is just like a, re a regular oak, I think. Well, this one may be a white oak. I'm, yeah, I think this is a white oak. And I have another sycamore tree right by my tank that the, the leaves are withered on this. I figured out that the sycamore roots are a lot, real long, so I had to put it in that long, uh, in that long pot. And make sure and stay tuned, because we're hoping to plant a garden this year. Uh, we're gonna put like tomatoes and squash and all that. So st stay tuned to see a video on planting a garden. So tell me down in the comments what we should name these two ducks. So remember, one is like yellow that's gonna be white, and then one is brown with little yellow stripes. So, name. tell me down in the comments what we should name these two ducks. Alright guys, so thanks for watching this video. Make sure and hit the like button and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.